Hey guys, James Same. So trying to get a good video output using Zoom to teach online classes. So I already found out, I did the previous video about using the uh, Blue Yeti microphone, which is so much better than like a, um, a laptop microphone. As long as your cat doesn't keep bumping into it. Um, and so I'll put up uh, a video showing what the Logitech, it's an HD Logitech 1080p um, webcam is, just really poor quality. So this is the recording using my Logitech webcam and it is the Logitech HD 1080p. And to be fair, I did take the logic amp and, and set it down here directly across from me because that's where my... And so one of the challenges on the Canon 90D is that um, you can have the, the grid display on your screen. So what we don't want here is this grid. I could go turn the grid screen off, but I don't want to have to turn it on, turn it off every time I'm going to use the camera. Um, if it was dedicated for zoom only, maybe that'd be okay. And then also this tracking because I'm shooting at f1.8 so I need the track the face tracking on and so it's very distracting with that face tracking and eye tracking I believe it would be very distracting for the students for the for the zoom students you don't want that and all the information about your f-stop and ISO and really distracting the, the the face tracking and the eye tracking so there's a couple different settings I and I showed a quick video on how to do clean uh, 4k hdmi output well the problem with the with that was that there was a lag in the uh, audio gear and you do have to choose uh on the canon 90d there's a hdmi clean output uh, so that the grid goes away on the screen the focus box of the face with the focus box on the eye uh, goes away which i find that extremely distracting to hear somebody talking it's all right if it's off just just a hair that's one thing but if it's if it's really off it's like watching a badly dubbed movie which i find extremely distracting and i think a lot of people have problems bad audio whether it's bad quality or just a big delay it's a it's a it's a turn off for me it's a huge negative so i figured it probably is for other people too um so how that was resolved is I did full HD, clean HDMI output. And then that led to having the audio in sync. Um, so now this is, I think, I've got everything set up. I've got the DSLR shooting with the Sigmar 18 to 35 with F1.8. Uh, it gives a nice blurred background. I have very good audio with the Blue Yeti microphone. Um, I have the power supply uh, connected. Uh, so that I don't have to depend on batteries from my Canon, just, uh, my camera to stay turned on. Also, you have to go into your settings and turn off uh, auto, uh, auto, auto turn off or auto disable or the time to disable, turn off your camera. Uh, it's like two minutes, three minutes, just, uh, just turn it off so that the camera won't shut off. All right, so when I take my, right now, my Canon trying to use the EOS web utility. Start a new meeting. Okay, that's fine. Let's switch to the EOS webcam utility beta program. My Canon uh, 90D hooked up which I downloaded. I'll leave a link in the description below for the EOS webcam utility. It's a beta version, but it doesn't work for me. All right, so the Cam Link 4K, it came uh, not too long ago. We'll open it up and see if it works with a Windows desktop, Windows 10, hooking up to a Canon um, 90D. because I cannot get the Canon EOS web utility. Um, the computer recognized my camera, but it didn't result in a video 
string. Uh, so we got this box here. Looks fairly straightforward. A place to connect to the US. Well, I'm wearing black, so. A place to connect to the USB. A place to plug in my HDMI. So you do need on the Canon 90D, I have an HDMI connector, which is a regular HDMI, and then the Canon portion. The Canon portion plugs into a micro HDMI, micro HDMI connector into the side of the camera. So let's get this hooked up, see what it looks like. All right, so quick tip when for the uh, power supply, for this uh, fake battery to go in, for it to fit in, if you'll take it and take the cord and push it as far over as it'll go before inserting it into your before inserting it into your battery, because I was trying to put it in there and then thread it down, and it just works so much. You see, it's starting to kink my line here. So before you drop it in the back of your camera, put this in, slide it over as far as it'll go, and then when you go to put it in your battery. This door will pop off. It just pops off easy. So there is a a flap that comes back right here. So you pull that back. That's where the cable feeds through. So I've got it pushed all the way back as far as it'll go. I'm going to go ahead and pull this little flap back. Drop this down. You don't have to take the door off. I'm just doing it for demonstration. It just pops back in. And then that closes nice and flush. Then it keeps your power supply continuous. Oh, you do have to go into, let me turn the camera on. You do have to go into, sorry, cat. Well, let me just take this so I can get closer to the camera. Of course, I have to have a battery in for it to work. Alright, so I'm going to go to my menu. I'm going to go to uh, the camera, the third screen over, the HDMI info display. So I'm going to put with info back on so that we can we can see all, all of this information on here. Um, so when you went to clean HDMI, I was getting uh, a lag in audio because I was doing clean 4k out and I once I switched it to uh, clean uh, HD then that took away the lag in my audio so menu I'm under the camera the third button over HDMI info display that's that and if, instead of 4k output do the clean full HD output that and say okay that resolved my audio lag which was very irritating I didn't want to present to the students and have an audio lag so those two things um, the HDMI info do full HD at least with my particular setup on a Windows 10 computer and i7 processor and I was thinking because this door has to be shut with this fake battery in here that's plugged into electrical outlet it won't work you, you can't put this in and leave this open let's disconnect it so if you don't feed that through there first if you put it in and then try to put it over thread it down pull that back it just won't it doesn't want to close so the solution is to drop it in that hole first, slide it over as far as it'll go. Then when you drop this in, again, I'm gonna take the door off just to show you that flap. I'm gonna pull that flap back. You can even take your lens off if you had to. That slides down. 
Now my door will easily close if I hadn't taken it off. Let me pop this back on. The door closes nice and flush. All right, so um, if you find these videos helpful, uh, hit the like button. I'd greatly appreciate that. And um, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do, turn on notifications so that you don't miss when the next video comes out. All right, guys, thanks so much for your time. I appreciate it. And we'll talk to you in the next video.